the right now the during this session first what i want to do is i want you to understand if you load a design if you do a design in this what are the basic things which you should be aware about right okay so we are assuming here that we already have done a design we will be looking at that design okay and then i will the other thing we'll do is we will look at some of the ways you can use this gui and do different parts like floor planning place and out etc and what is a good way to access those commands from this gui okay so first of all as i said we are already using a done design now if we open this design what we see is something like this uh clear uh, visible to everyone okay now here what we are seeing is we have these uh, first of all what i want to do is i want to get rid of all the layers over here okay now what do you see over here uh, some of you saw this last time some of you didn't uh, quickly what what do you see over here okay there are different macros over here okay what else so there are different ports over here what do, what do you mean by ports ports are the connection to the outside world for you right that's the boundary to your design okay so we have ports over here we have macros over here there are there is spacing between these macros right okay so what has been done till now is someone has taken your uh, synthesized rtl taken the pins or the ports on it mapped those ports to the boundary created a, actually a boundary right you see this boundary is not a square not a rectangle it is it has a very specific shape right so someone has created this shape placed the pins at specific locations and then placed these big macros you understand the difference between macros and standard cells so standard a macro is a collection of standard cells but for the designer's perspective a macro whatever is inside the macro you cannot change it you can just move the macro around okay make sense to everyone so everyone understands this okay now what i want to do is i want to quickly look at another block after play soft i'll do the same thing i'll go into the layers i'll switch off the layers now what is the difference between the last block you saw and this block there is like a sea of this uh, purple colored things right in the if we zoom in you see there is like some placement over here makes what what is this standard cells they have been placed at certain locations right so what was the last design that was you had done a floor planning on it when i mean by floor planning you had created a boundary you had placed pins you had placed hard macros now in the next stage what you have done is you have also placed the standard cells right you have done the placement stage now these should have been placed based on the netlist you were given from the synthesis make sense good now we'll do a quick thing okay now this is the part of the tool uh, where i want to show you how do you access some of the things in gui okay first stage is called design planning so when we look at the slides we'll look at something called floor planning uh then we'll look at placement then we'll look at uh, clock tree synthesis routing and everything right so there in the gui there is a guide basically to do all of those things and i want to quickly show you how to access that guide every command is present in that guide okay i want uh, sometimes these things get asked so I, i want to show you a quick overview of this first of all so there is something called task task assistant over here okay in this task assistant what we have chosen design planning in the design planning if we go there is everything there is floor plan preparation block shaping cell placement every one of these things okay i'll just go into the first the floor planning okay everyone can see this okay now if we go into the floor planning there are different stages of it right so good way to learn such things is you go into the tool you explore if 
you don't even need to go and look at the uh, tutorial or anything. Everything is present in this task assistant. Every detail is mentioned, right? It, it's already telling you what perform floor plan initialization. What does it mean? Create a new floor plan, modify an exist. It will, it lets you do every one of these things. Okay. There is no need to okay find how to do this. Everything is already there in the task assistant. Make sense. Then you click on one of these. Now it tells you what do you want to do? You can create a floor plan. It will tell you the shape you want and everything. What sides do you want? You just put here, here the sides. Now you want a shape, uh, you want the L shape. This was the shape which was there, right? Earlier, you just choose the shape. You put, uh, there are different ways to specify this. You can provide the sides. Basically, if this is like a GUI, right? When we uh, actually know what we are doing, then we just type the command for it and get it done, okay? But here you can do everything from the uh, GUI perspective. And you see over here, yeah, it lets you, it tells you the exact command for what you are initializing, right? Now we go back, look at one more of this. Suppose we want to do placement, okay? And then we go to the task assistant. Now, if you are doing placement, the first thing you would want to do is you want to check whether your floor planning stage is complete, right? So this will tell you, okay, there are different commands and each of these commands get run through this task assistant. It builds a database called this dot EMS database. There is a way to access this EMS database and it look at whatever the issues are. So why am I going this fast and well, I want to show you briefly what I'll be discussing a lot of things during the uh, theory part of it, that all of those things can be done through the GUI very easily. Okay. You need to have a basic understanding of how those tasks will be performed. Okay. So we'll discuss all these stages, floor planning, placement, routing, clock resynthesis. All of this can be very easily handled through this task assistant. The question is, what do you want to do? You need to know very clearly what do you want to do? Okay, if, if you know what you want to do, how to do it is quite easy. That's all I wanted to show. These things are quite easy. Now, um, we'll come back to the tool. Uh, I want to show three things to you. One is called um, uh, register tracing. One is called uh, data flow lines, uh, DFF, and one is called uh, congestion. So we'll come back to those three things once I go over some of the slides with you, okay? Those three things are part of floor planning and sometimes get asked, how do you do floor planning? What is the way to figure out where do you place which blocks? So those three techniques are quite frequently used, data flow lines, register tracing, and uh, congestion analysis, okay? So we'll come back to that. Make sense? Like our uh, Facebook page, YouTube channel for more such updates. Thank you for watching. Be expert, buy expert. Best of luck.